What up, this is Rama Screen covering movies, TV, and entertainment, and here's my review of the fifth installment of Scream franchise. Hey, before you watch my review, please subscribe to my channel, press that like button, and ring that bell so you can get notified whenever I post new videos. And if you'd like to help support this channel, please do so at patreon.com slash ramascreen. That's patreon.com slash ramascreen. Let's rock this. I get it. They did not want to call it Scream 5 or Scream with subtitle to make it seem meta. Like the franchise is coming full circle. As if the whole stab movies thing isn't meta enough. But let's get right to it. I find this fifth scream to be the weakest of them all. It's under the category of so bad it's funny. Even the expected film critiques that the characters would spew have become preachy Captain Obvious. But I do enjoy the death scenes. They kind of think outside the box with some of them here, which is not too shabby. Directed by Matt bertinelli Alpin and Tyler Gillette, 25 years after a streak of brutal murder shocked the quiet town of Woodsboro, a new killer has donned the ghost face mask and begins targeting a group of teenagers to resurrect secrets from the town's deadly past. Neve Campbell, Courtney Cox, and David Arquette return to their iconic roles in Scream alongside Melissa Barrera, Kyle Gallner, Mason Gooding, Mikey Madison, Dylan Manette, Jenna Ortega, Jack Quaid, Marley Shelton, Jasmine Savoy Brown, and Sonia Amar. Halloween, Ghostbusters Afterlife, The Matrix Resurrections, and now Scream. Hollywood banking on nostalgia and recognizable brand is not anything new. It's all about repackaging it for the next generation and the next generation and the next generation, so on and so forth. Credit where credit is due, what this movie does do right unlike The Matrix Resurrections, is that the new kids in Scream, the younger faces, are actually the headliners. They don't fade into the background as the story progresses. They're not there just so that Dewey, Gale, and Sydney can make an entrance and take over. Speaking of whom, Dewey, Gale, and Sydney, the way the script weaves them in, well, it does a bit of mental gymnastics to try to explain where they've been all this time. So that's a little doozy, and it's very paper thin. That said, David Neve and Courtney look like their heart's still in it. Some actors out there, you could tell, are returning just for the paycheck. But these three look like they really want to be there, so hats off to them. But my opinion still stands. I find this whole film weak and laughable because overall, when it comes down to it, this is basically just a rehash of every other Scream movie we've seen. It doesn't matter if the previous one was a decade ago. The formula is still fresh in memory, with the exception of smarter cell phones, but that's about it. Look, I don't mind cheap jump scares and gnarly kills. Some days you just need those kinds of horror films, the ones without any emotional undertone. But this scream is way too ridiculous for me, way too wacky, way too over the top. It's a parody of its own self and by this point it's exhausting. I wanna say I hope this is the last we'll see of Scream, but that would be a foolish wishful thinking on my part. 